the Norwegian Epic. and everything take a very long time so if you're cruising anytime soon bring your patience but it's worth it Deck 7, Bliss Lounge, which is closed at the moment. Very cool looking in. I'm up really early, so I think everything's going to be closed, but it'll give you some idea. Cool walkway. Shows the lower deck. There's trade wind. And this is called Sandbox. Jetties. I was up so early in filming that you couldn't even hear me over the music because there was no one else around and no one else talking. So I thought I'd fill you in on some of the things you're looking at. The shops were nice, quite typical cruise shops, clothing, a few handbags, jewelry, cosmetics, perfumes, watches, things like that, typical. They had some Norwegian stuff, but not a lot, just a small amount of Norwegian merch. Throughout the ship, they have these way markers, I don't know, arrows to point you in the right direction, and they're very helpful. I tend to get a little bit lost. I joke with Steve that I have the homing skills of a pigeon, and that's just so not true. So it's really helpful to have these. They have them all over the ship, so you can tell which way you're going and when you're going the wrong way. From this upper deck, you can see the casino down one floor. Across from us is the Teppanyaki restaurant, one of the specialty restaurants that costs a little bit more. There they do the show with the food and they do the meats and rice and stuff on the grill, hot plate, whatever that thing is called. It was good. And down there you're looking in to taste the main restaurant. It was quite odd to see such an open plan ship. I've never been able to look down into the main restaurant from above. Here is the Sky Vodka Ice Bar. It was $25 or something like that, but it included two drinks and they had a non-alcoholic drink option.
This is Shaker's Bar and it goes right into the next thing. It's very open. Everything was very open plan. From here you can see down into the restaurant on the fifth floor and the casino which is on the sixth floor. And that's Wasabi which is a sushi place and also a sake bar. And it goes into, if you keep walking, into the Teppanyaki restaurant. This area had some very comfy looking couches and they must have been comfy. The day before we'd seen someone sleeping on that couch. They had a barber shop, which I don't know if that's unusual on cruise ships, but I don't think I've seen one. It's a nice touch. Then we get to two specialty restaurants, Moderno, which is a Brazilian steakhouse, and Cagney's, which is a steakhouse. And we had a special deal where we got to eat at three specialty restaurants. So we ate at Cagney's. My sister's a vegetarian, but she could get the sides. So it's well worth trying and looking at the menu, even if you don't eat steak. Going down one floor, there's the Manhattan restaurant. It looks like it has the same menu as the main restaurant, but we could see this restaurant while we were dining, dining sorry, in Cagney's and there's dancing and music. So it's a very different kind of restaurant. In the casino or near it, they have a cavern club and a Beatles tribute band. They also have a guitar of Paul McCartney's. On the other side of the casino, there's Shanghai Noodle Bar. So they have an escalator from five to six, but this is the only escalator I've seen. It's the only escalator I've seen on a cruise ship now that I'm in. Now I think about it. So this is Ocean's, I believe. It's definitely on the other side. They have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. There's some games. Hey, pool. Nice, our air hockey, and a couple more games. And then we've eaten a couple times across the way. Let's see, you can see down onto the fifth floor with guest services.
And here we have Headliners Comedy Club. Oh, that's a very good look. Sorry, everything's closed. As I said, it's super early in the morning. And then we have Epic the Theater. We have some box office stuff. And Epic. I will say they have some very good toilets um, around the theater. And it's at both ends, so it's quite easy to find a toilet if you need one. Then we have Spiegel Tent. That looks like a tent. Sorry, that is not focusing. Only four people allowed per lift. And hand sanitizer stations everywhere. Now this is the art area, which I'm sure they don't want filmed. They have an art gallery with art auctions. Then we have your photo area, where everything's digital. Last time we cruised, it was not digital. This is the French Bistro, Le Bistro. the main guest services area with my favorite place ever Starbucks Norwegian now has Starbucks on board so there's shore excursion desk cruise next to book your next cruise guest services a big place to sit with your coffee and I'm going to get a Starbucks And it has just pretty much the normal Starbucks menu. So this is Taste. It's the morning. It's the main dining room. This is the dining room you can see from the upper floors when you look down with the chandelier. Garden View Cafe has a view. We're in port right now. It's a really industrial port, so it's not much of a view. And downstairs from the Garden View is La Cucina, which is an uh, Italian restaurant and very good.
the adult only area. I think it's called Spice 2 O. Oh, sorry, Spice H2O.